um, hopefully we can get it resolved. It's been a long time coming. Um, I honestly don't know what to expect. Um, Chanel, I mean, she was my closest sister that I grew with. For a long time, there was only us together as sisters, and it was really hard at first, like when she was gone. But then I know she's not coming back, right? And it would be nice to have some closure into what happened and why at this point. But it's kind of nice to get it over with, you know, so that at least the family can be like, it's done, it's finished. Like, it's already happened. We know that it's happened. We don't know why. But at least let's put a rest to it, let, let it be done with. To be honest, when I first heard that she was burnt, it was kind of like, um, you kind of feel. Like how can you sit, like what was happening at that last few moments, like how can you be sitting there like being burnt alive, like like you know what did she go through in, the, in those last moments. And then at the same time when you kind of heard that she was shot and then it wasn't the fire, even though it's tragic it's kind of a relief because then it was just like one, like gone, like instant, she instant didn't death, pain. there was no, yes. So that was kind of a relief even though it's so horrific. Um, I've also had time over time to deal with it you know just to to search within myself and see how do I take it like what am I supposed to do you know what I mean and um, then um, I also see where it's hurt other men like everybody in my family has a different reaction like I've seen where other people are in rage I've seen where they feel like they want to do something to this guy but what is it gonna profit me do I want to become the same person that he is like do, you know what I mean I I don't know, I think over time I've dealt with it in a sense that um, Jolyn, she's gone, she's not coming back, no matter what you do, she's not going to come back. Do you miss her? Do you miss her? Um, she was living with me at that time and um, it's just funny because sometimes she would go and you don't know where she's gone and then she just comes back. But then we know that she went to work, she didn't come home, sometimes she's with friends, sometimes she probably just go out or whatever. And then for you to be waking up with like flashlight and like knocking on your door, you know, just somebody coming looking for her and then giving you the news. It's not easy, like it's not an easy, you know, That's thing how you to take. That's, yeah, the police came.